Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Today I just want to talk to you about why it's possible that Bitcoin could actually go to the moon. A lot of people talk about it, but you know there's no real reasons about it. So I just want to talk you through this fractal and it possibly shows that Bitcoin could actually go to the moon. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, Bitcoin here on a monthly chart on a log scale. That's on a log scale. Now this is a five minute chart from Chainlink. And this is a four hour chart from Ravencoin, um, RVM. So you can see here in Bitcoin actually, you know, you could draw this a couple of ways. I mean, you can draw it like this and it's a bull flag and we had that breakout. Okay. You could actually also draw it and have a wage. You know, you can still have a, a bullish wage here that had a failed breakdown and then you had that recovery, a failed breakdown stop hunt. And in the long term, in the long scheme of things, I mean, you know, this is a bullish consolidation. This it shows you clearly it's a bullish consolidation. And, uh, you know, we've talked about this many times in the past about how it is bullish consolidation and it could actually go way higher. Now, regardless of what way you draw that, you know, it doesn't matter if it's the bull flag or the wage or whatever, it, 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 it looks fairly strong. Now, if I take you over here to the chain link chart, link chart, and you can see this wage here after a huge move up and the price forms a bit of a wage. It, it's a great sign of strength. Price cannot even break below the moving averages. Now you can see here on Bitcoin, price did actually break the moving average, but it held the 50. It held the 50. So not quite as strong as Chainlink, but you know, it's still strong nonetheless. It held the monthly 50, which is powerful. Uh, you know, and, and the, the fact that it just had this pullback and uh, consolidated on the highs, you know, that, that's a very good sign of strength. You can see, see here on RVN, big move up. You know, I, I, maybe I've, I've drew that a bit too small. But, um, you know, you can see the big move up and consolidate right into the moving averages. Almost the exact same at all three. Now, Bitcoin did break that a little bit. It's on a monthly chart. You can see here on the RSI, the RSI uh, when was went higher for years. I mean, that was uh, one, well, two and a half years, probably three years, four years has been above there if you actually look at the other charts. Um, and then we had that pullback into the 50. Pierce on the 50 and then we turned around bullish again. This is bullish. When an RSI is above 50, it's bullish. And this has basically been bullish the whole time. Um, when, uh, or, okay, I'll finish this. When you are getting mixed up there, too many things to talk about. Uh, you can see here the RSI here is almost identical on Chainlink. If you look at the two of them, almost identical. We had a double top, we had to pull back into the 50, and you know, and then we moved higher. So that, then that moved higher. You can see here. It was very similar. We had that double top, triple top, maybe on RVM, and then we pull back into the 50 and bullish consolidation above the, the 50. So what happened then? You know, price didn't even respect the all-time highs. It basically just blew through it. It it, it got above, had this pull back inside, then it went, went higher, you know. But But the trend was so strong, it didn't respect. It just kept going. Just kept going and going and going and uh and took out the all-time highs of course there's going to be some pullbacks and some wicks and stuff but because the consolidation is up here so high on on the on the fractal on the trend the pattern is so strong it can't even get a dip you know same same in bitcoin here it's so strong it can't even get a dip on a log chart to be fair but it can't get a dip you can see it's just it's powerful and then it just rolled straight higher and went to new highs. Now RVN, what happened to RVN? Everybody knows what happened to RVN. Look, look what happened to RVN. RVN was, it, it broke out of the bullish pattern above all moving averages, above moving averages, above moving averages, 
and now we got back above moving averages and we're powering uh, higher in a parabolic move. Sometimes parabolic moves do not stop for a long time, of course. Um, okay, you can see here we had this, uh, well, you want to call it a parabolic move, but it's on a two hour, two, a four hour chart. And it just powered straight through the all time highs again. It didn't even look at them again. And this is very likely to what Bitcoin is going to do. Bitcoin is probably going to power through these all time highs and, uh, and keep going. In my, in my opinion, it's very possible. Now, I will trade it. If we get the pullback, I will trade it to the, to the downside. I will trade it long. I don't care. But um, I'm just saying I think a lot of people are going to be waiting on this pullback. And they might never get it. You can see here, there's no pullback on RBN. There's nothing. It didn't even it didn't even um, break lower on the... It didn't even break below the, the yellow 9 EMA, EMA. And here you can see, again, on... Uh, chain link on link it didn't even break the 9 EMA well once we had a spike and we just kept going but by that time we were already above all time highs this is looking very similar on Bitcoin we're just going to stay and trend above these moving averages and just trend higher and higher and higher it's very possible I mean you know for example you know that I mean, it's in a log chart, of course, but there's $50,000. But the way Bitcoin is going, it might not be as long as people think before it gets there. I know we're all, I know that's a 5X away and it will take a long time, but what I'm saying is this is a monthly chart. So in, in relative to the, to the monthly chart, you know, we might do something like this again. Price just might keep going and, uh, and people will be left behind. So we definitely don't want that to happen. Um, according to these fractals, anyway, guys, and you can see it's not finished. It's nowhere near finished. That was only the move was only starting. Look at this. This is what I'm saying. When you get when you get a fractal like this, when you get a pattern that consolidates so high on the pattern, it's a serious sign of strength. It is powerful, and you can see here that's not even a touch on the 50 moving average. We didn't hit the 50 moving average, 50 EMA, until the trend actually topped out up here. We actually topped out, and then we got that dip and touched the 50 moving average. So people waiting for, for 50 moving average and stuff, it might not happen. Look at this fractal, guys. It's it's seriously powerful. Um, now, what happened to RVN? I think everybody knows what happened to RVN. Sorry, guys. Uh, God, I've... Way too many charts open. Um, you can see here again, RVN did get that dip. RVN got a bit of a dip here, and it was a beautiful dip, and I remember it well, actually. I do definitely remember it well. Um, I wish I bought and held longer, but uh, that's just the uh, nature of the beast. Now, you can see here, we got that powerful move up. Didn't even consider the all-time highs, but we got that dip it back inside and it was quite a powerful dip actually and and then but it was back into the moving averages the moving averages all held and then we continued and rolled up higher massively important and then just kept going and going and going and going so it dwarfed this first move again just like this this move got dwarfed and this move on bitcoin in the long scheme of things this is a monthly chart in the long scheme of things this price action is probably going to get dwarfed and we are probably going to go higher and if you look at this and we get dwarfed where does that where does that say bitcoin is going i mean even if you even if you double that from 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 there to there on the screen because this is a log chart i mean it's it's bringing you up to 200,000 you know it's uh, oh is that uh, too many zeros now, but it's bringing you way up there. You know, I'm not saying that it's definitely going to happen, but I am showing you the potential of the fact that it can possibly moon according to this pattern. And there's no question about it. This is an extremely bullish pattern. And uh, people, I think people might be shocked at how high and how fast Bitcoin goes with such little pullbacks over the course of time, of course. Remember, it's a monthly chart. So, 
that's it for the video, guys. Um, we don't want anybody to be left behind in possibly the biggest bull market in history. Um, you know, we, we just don't know. It's very hard to predict the future. But if anything, these patterns are giving us a very good clue. So anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. I don't want the video to run on too long. So if, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to join us on our Discord, we're in there very active every single day, trading the markets, making a kiln. We've, uh, we're just getting some nice upgrades in there and stuff and uh, improving everything every single day. So uh, if you'd like to join us in there, you can hit us up in the link below and uh, we'll get you a three-day free trial for that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.